movie. And welcome to another edition of Random Retro Bonus Round. I am Joshua Caleb. I'm Graham Ellis. And I'm Dustin Schmidt. And today we're popping in a uh, GameCube game, but I haven't decided which one. So exciting. Let's see, I got... Mystery game. Yeah. I'd say I got about at least a dozen, probably more, so pick a number. Yeah, go ahead, Justin. Oh, okay. Well, let's randomly say 18. Oh, that's too many, isn't it? So we'll go eight. Eight. Ooh, one of my favorites. And pretty much everyone should recognize this game, at least the characters in it. I missed that sound. <laughs> that is a good sound. Heavy Iron Studios. Scooby Doo. D H Q. Alrighty. Recreated it all within the game engine. Yeah. You know we got a mystery. And I think they only added in a couple parts that aren't part of the original cartoon, a couple characters. There's only like a couple villains that show up in here that are from the game rather than the cartoon. Yep. Yep. The mastermind. Voiced by Tim Curry, actually. Oh, really? Um, the uh, voice of Scooby and Shaggy are done by uh, uh, DJ. I can't remember his name now. Scott Eines. In, in this one, anyway. Yeah. Well, you smell that salty sea air, Scooby? It's Scoob? not Casey Kasem. You know Kasem. what that means, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Not by a long Seafood. shot. Seafood! <laughs> Fried clams! Runa fish! Yeah, that is not Scooby. No, no, that is not. That is the, that's probably the worst part of the whole game, are those voices. All right, you two. Don't forget but the real reason we're here. Fred's actually the original voice. No lobster bisque. Yeah, I was going to say, it's close. No, silly. We're here to the solve a The other two, I'm not sure. Oh. No, no. There's... Our friend Holly says there's strange goings on up here she at the family pretty... home. Mystic Manor. Yeah, it could be Similar. closer. Thelma's definitely not Thelma. No. Mm -hmm. And should really use our help. Look, there she is now. And wasn't uh, the the redhead attractive at one time? <laughs> hey, Daphne. Uh, I think she was supposed to. Before she yeah. got all blotchy, I don't know. <laughs> Shaggy and Scooby Doo. Wow, the whole gang. I've heard so much about you. Daphne's kept me up to date on all of your cases, so I figured my mystery would be right up your alley. The really? funny thing is, when I watched this and as a kid, I thought they were in a band called Mystery it's my Machine. Uncle, famous inventor, <laughs> Professor Alexander. <laughs> That's awesome. Just about to unveil some new top well, secret inventions. If you had realized all the cartoons up to that point were all like Josie and the Pussycats. Oh, and the Archie, there were actually crossovers. Stuff. They did crossovers with Josie and. Um, yeah, exactly. There was always this musical me. edge because to some of the shows, right. and I thought they were originally yeah, a band that went around and got into mysteries, but they did away with the whole band thing, which was probably better. Keepers. Yeah. Better. Don't that is awesome. <laughs> you said it, Daphne. We're not afraid. Right, well, I'll right? admit to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
like me and Scoob have seen this show before. You guys can go poking around scaring up some spooksters, but we're staying right here in the old mystery machine. Only ghost-free environments for us. <laughs> Rip Roastly is the way to be. Okay, you scaredy cats. This whole thing plays out want. just like the TV Come show. Come on, guys. See you later. You know, Scoob, I could really go for a... Ruby stack. You read my mind, pal. Yeah, or maybe my stomach. <laughs> a Ruby stack. Well, what do you know? Scooby snacks. Hey there, Scoob. Huh? Wait up. Leave some for me. <laughs> Something smells wishy here. Well, you are standing in front of Smuggler's Cove. Scooby Snacky. Raggy, wait! Gee, Scoob, it's not like they got your name all over them. Yeah, well, actually, they do. <laughs> Scooby Doo! Raggy? I never understood why they didn't sell a cereal called Scooby Snacks. But... Right? <laughs> they, they sell gummy, like Scooby Snack gummy bears. Yeah, and I okay. think they they do sell some kind of like Graham snacks or something now called Scooby Snacks. But... Well, you got to remember back in the '60s, late '60s, when this game came out, show first came out, everything had a marketing tie-in. Yeah, you know, and I guess being the consumer that I was at the time, I always thought there was a marketing tie-in for this. A, the band, B. How come there's no Scooby Snacks? Yeah. You wonder if it failed, uh, you know, <laughs> etc. So, and even though this is a, a game based on a TV show, it's actually a fairly capable platformer. That's it's, it's actually sort of cool because it's like got an open world feel to it. Sort of that mm -hmm. Metroidvania kind of thing, where all the levels like crisscross over each other. Oh, nuts! Yeah, that's cool. Oh okay, yeah, did you recognize this guy's voice? He's all talking. All right. <laughs> Come on, say something. Another six oh, years, wait. and then I can retire. Maybe I'll take up gardening. Can you recognize it, or can't you hear it very well? It's not really all that recognizable for me. Oh. Oh, well, the, the the voice for the groundskeeper in this is Don Knotts. Ah, oh, that might have been one of the last oh, things he did. Wondered how I got over here. Yeah. So yeah, that's definitely Don Knox, yeah. I'm strange and spooky. <laughs> now move along. He's the spooky groundskeeper. He's the ghost of Mr. Chicken, too. <laughs> it's probably his best movie. I've pretty much only seen him in the Andy Griffith show. I, don't, I haven't seen him in much what? else. Yeah, I can't think of anything either. Ghost and Miss Ghost and Mr. Chicken. Must watch. Wait, did you really just say Ghost and Mr. Chicken together? Correct, because that's the name of the movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, it's actually you know one of these very light '60s comedies. Uh, there's actually a computer angle, a tech angle to it, which is kind of funny. Um, given the time. <laughs> so, mid-60s. Mid-60s, I think. <laughs> so, basically, a, you know, a half-decent platform, as you said, but Scooby doing some pretty good hour <laughs> aerobics yeah. there to get all his snacks. Yeah, and then all the and all the baddies and bosses and everything are all taken from all of the cartoons. That first season, probably. Um, there's That's even the 
there's That's a lot the of them. Famous ones. Yeah, there's a lot of them from the first they're season, like, oh. but there are some from the extended oh. spinoffs. Okay. Yeah, there were many, were there? <laughs> yes, there were. So they, they took, because there's like an Iron Face, there's a ghost of some fisherman or something. Yeah, that was the one guy in the scuba suit, the, the captain. And then there was, um, my favorite one is the space alien one. Oh, yep, he's on here. Yeah, that was that was always cool. That was a good episode. Those got, meddling kids, I would have gotten away with it. <laughs> yep, and then we got the, the creepers in here, too. Oh, a creeper, how oh, cool. Hello? Is anyone out there? Ooh, I hear Anybody somebody. Some help in here? <laughs> Is anyone there? Ooh, I got a key. Oh, and you actually get um, a lot of upgrades and items. You get like a double jump, you get a football helmet, so you can smash stuff. You get to spit um, bubble gum and soap. You get a shovel, you get suction cup feet, you get boots. <laughs> um, Oh yeah, the mastermind. Oh yeah, the 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 guy that does the voice for her uncle, the guy that's been kidnapped, mm -hmm. is um, Tim Conway. Gee, they really went old yeah. school with the uh, with the users here. Yeah, which is kind of cool. Creeper. He, he breaks free eventually. Oh, that, that does collapse. <laughs> Headless Spectre. Rummy. He actually uh, sometimes comments on the different um, villains or baddies you see. Oops. <clears throat> Unfortunately, this is the part where I completely forgot what you're supposed to do. I finished this entire game and I think almost 100%ed it, but wow. I forgot how to do this first part now. Is it a long game or no? Yeah, it's actually surprisingly long. Um, you go through there. The mansion is a huge area. You go through the fishing docks, which is a huge area. There's a hedge maze, of course. And it's like, and like I said, the, the each of the different little um, worlds per se all crisscross over each other. It's not a bad looking game for uh, the fact, you know, that the Wii is not exactly a high res device. <laughs> or sorry, the GameCube. Yeah. The Wii isn't either, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, I kind of like it. it. It's got, like, the right amount of cartoony look to it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, you know, they really, really did the Someone homework to get everything looking exactly like the cartoon. Yeah, and I think this is the only Scooby game... Because all the Scooby games they have now that I've seen and played a few of, none of them are near as good as this one. Well, I have to admit to not playing too many Scooby games. <laughs> but mostly because I don't own the systems that they run on. My sister's played most of them. And from what I've seen, none of, none of them can stack up to this one. This this is like the ultimate Scooby-Doo game. Ultimate Scooby-Doo. <laughs> <laughs> I do have to say that it's kind of nice outside the fact that the Scooby, unlike some of the games I played, I think it played Gex, Gex 64 there oh, on the yeah. Nintendo 64. And every time he moved, he had to make a wise crack or a saying, or and of course the repertoire is very small. Yeah. <laughs> um, there doesn't seem to be that issue with this one where it's 
very no. repetitive audio wise. The the only thing you'll get rep repetitive is the laugh track. Which does that mean a nice touch considering the TV show well, the had a laugh track? The TV show actually had the same canned laugh track too yeah. as well. But you don't run into it that much and it's usually whenever um, Scooby does something funny. <laughs> Well, that's probably a fairly good look. I didn't. It'd be nice to get a little further in the game, but I'll have to do a playthrough or something of it another time. Mm. But well, that's a good look at it, as you said. That's Scooby Doo. It looks like an awesome game for sure. Scooby Doo yeah. Night of a Hundred Frights for the GameCube, PS2, and Xbox. But I think the GameCube was the better looking. So. If you happen to have a GameCube or an old Wii that can actually play GameCube games, uh, I recommend checking this out. And we will see you randomly next week in the past. See ya.